Good day, my name is Tehila Chimfwembe and I'm coming to you from the sector headquarters here in Lusaka, Zambia. So in the month of February, the authority called for applications for the ICT Innovation Program 2017 and having received well over 1,000 likes and 94 shares, we thought it best that we actually direct the frequently asked questions to the manager of statistics and research, Mr. Bernard Banda. He's also the man under whom the innovation program runs. So you're welcome, sir. Thank you very much, Tehila, and it's my pleasure to join you today. Likewise, it's an absolute pleasure to have you here. So, so before I delve into the um, most of the questions that were asked, I'd just like to know what is um, an ICT innovation program and why is ZICTA participating or initiating such a program? The ICT innovation program basically tries to provide technical and business development support services to uh, upcoming ICT innovators here in Zambia. This is a program that we launched last year and it is uh, structured around a six months duration where we more or less collaborate with different stakeholders to try and assist these innovative ideas to move from just being ideas into more or less uh, viable businesses. Yes, thank you. And how has the feedback been while, um, in terms of the previous one, well the one that's actually currently running, how was that on your end and how has the reception been like from the general public? Um, the feedback and uh, the reception has been very good. Um, I think the first time we ran the program, we received over 100 submissions, very good projects, and unfortunately we can only take up to 20 uh, applicants each time. So we evaluated these uh, applications together with our partners uh, from academia as well as from industry as well as from institutions that are also working within the innovation ecosystem. Um, over the last uh, four to five months, we've successfully held quite a number of technical and business development uh, workshops. We've also exposed the young people to quite a number of issues that can help them more or less move their projects uh, forward. So it's been a very, very successful uh, initial phase. And uh, I must mention that uh, next week we'll actually be having a pitching event where some of the participants in the ongoing program will more or less be interacting with potential of takers or perhaps partners that could partner with them to move their projects forward. Absolutely, that's actually very interesting. So given the number of likes just on social media alone, I'm very sure that there are lots of people who are watching who have ideas for either apps or they've even maybe already got prototypes, you know, in, it, in the making, right? And they're thinking this could just be the program that launches whatever app I have and they're really confident in the app or whatever it is, whatever innovation that they've come up with. And they're saying, how do I go about reaching out to Zikta? Do I have to just be in Lusaka? Maybe I'm from the Copper Belt. Um, what is the criteria for selection and how do I go about applying for it? Uh, with regard to how one applies uh, for the program, uh, we've provided a link on most of on all our adverts in terms of that link more or less leads to a form which will more or less uh, complete and once you complete that form we receive it as ZICTA and after the closing date we'll be able to put all these forms together and uh, more or less evaluate uh, who the top 20 applicants are. In terms of the criteria for selection, uh, there are basically about three or four pillars that we'll be looking at. Number one, we'll try and establish first of all whether an individual does have an innovation. We know that in as much as we've called for applications for innovations, there are perhaps some people that will perhaps apply but not uh, meet the minimum criteria of having an innovation or dealing or responding to any particular problem that we may have in this country. So we'll try and establish whether you have an innovation in the first place. Secondly, we'll try and also establish whether it is technically feasible to implement the project that you're proposing. Number three, we'll also try and look at the business viability of that project that you're proposing. And then uh, lastly, we'll also try and look at the social impact. So more or less, uh, whatever uh, innovation or project that you have, whether it's a prototype or whether it's an idea, we'll also try and establish what impact you're likely to have on society, whether it's a socioeconomic consideration or whatever issue you're trying to respond to, we'll try and more or less evaluate you on those pillars. So those four pillars will attract points that will amount to about 100. And basically what we'll just try and do is rank uh, the top 20 and the top 20 will more or less be shortlisted 
into the particular program that we're proposing. Okay, that's perfect. So once I've submitted or I've lodged an application, mm -hmm. how do I know that Zikta has actually received it? Okay, so again, um, I encourage uh, everybody who wants to participate to go to the link. Mm -hmm. uh, the link is currently running on the screen. It's also, you can also go to the, the many adverts that we've issued in the print media, on our Facebook page, and on various electronic uh, media platforms. So on that advert, you'll see a link where we're telling you to either type out that link or click on that link so that it leads you to that uh, application form. At the end of um, you completing that particular form, uh, you probably click a submit button. Once you click that button, you will see a message appear on your screen, which is more or less telling you to say you've successfully applied for the program. That more or less is a notification that you'll get that you more or less have success, successfully applied for the program.